Happy September everyone! I am back after a year of not making videos and I am here to show you a project share that I'm doing for a challenge collaboration with Left Handed Crafter. We will be recreating a project we saw online every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the month of September. Each day we will be doing a different project so check back in to see what we will be making next. Today we made purses um, after the tutorial, uh, May May made its tutorial, and um, I made two, and this is the first purse that I made. This is the front, and this is the back. Got a little messy with the distress ink, um, and it's not quite finished. Like I'd like to put some little buttons right there. So that's the back, that's the side. I put a little rhinestones on the side and then rickrack for the front. And a little tag here. I actually, uh, I created a double-sided paper because I didn't have any. Um, I, by gluing the purple and the uh, candy corn paper together. And... I didn't realize that the paper was actually like 11 inches and not 12, so the purse turned out a little bit different, but I was still able to make it work. And so it's a little bit shorter and fatter than the one done with the correct measurements uh, from May May's channel. Okay, so there we, it says Happy Halloween, and turn around, it's just a little distress ink on the side and a little faux stitching. And this bat is from the Dollar Tree. And so are these pumpkins that I um, pulled off of the sticks and hot glued to uh, make it look like they were fasteners for the straps. So that's the first purse. And I'm putting a little tissue paper in there. So when I put a gift inside, I'll have something to wrap it with. The second purse I made with... Um, so these are the correct measurements, and if you can see here, it's a little bit different. This one's like wider. This one's a bit... Hmm, that's funny. So yeah, um, this purse was made with the correct measurements, and I also made it with white cardstock, and took a napkin, also from the Dollar Tree. You're seeing a theme here. <laughs> and decoupaged it with Mod Podge. So, and spread it around with a paintbrush. And I actually did all the measurements and the cutting first so that the orientation of the napkin could be in the correct direction because as you can see, you wouldn't want that upside down. You'd want it with the little Frankenstein, the skeleton, and uh, what's his name? He's Frankenstein, the, this guy is Dracula, so he'd want them going the right way. And then in the inside, because the paper was white, I took my distress stain and uh, distressed the inside with orange marmalade, I think it's called, and did a little dot, black dots with a Sharpie. And then this um, felt sticker is also from the Dollar Tree, and then these are buttons or uh, white pearls from the Dollar Tree that I took my marker and colored black so it would go. And then the last thing that I have to do for this guy is to put my little tag on because I didn't finish. So um, every day we're doing a different project and so go check out Left Handed Crafter and uh, check out what kind of awesome Halloween purse she made. And um, on Wednesday, we will be making a new project that we, we saw online. And if we know or remember who created it, we will give them credit. Obviously, if you want the measurements for this purse and you want to recreate it yourself, you'll go over to um, May May's channel and look at her purse tutorials. Um, I put washi on the sides. It's not sticking that great. Man, I love washi. <laughs> Sometimes you can put like a little double-sided tape first if you want to stick better. 
The texture of this purse is a little funky because it's decoupage, but I thought it turned out pretty well. So I hope you like my purses and make some yourself. And uh, go check out Left Handed Crafter. Have a good day, you guys. Bye-bye.